Hello, beautiful ladies of my heart. Today is going to be so much fun. It is a hodgepodge of makeup, and I mean a hodgepodge by saying that each product I'm using is different. Some are my favorite, some are brand new. It's just going to be epic. We're ready to go on to the next. Now, I grabbed at, I've never tried this before at Ulta, and I think regularly this is $14.99, and I got it for $10. This is Flower. Let me make sure I get it correctly. This is Flower Light Illusion, Luminous Makeup Nude Skin All Day Wear SPF 18, the Nude L3. Again, hit or miss. So I'm gonna shake it really good and get my sponge. Again, how are you ladies? Doing good? Great. Rocket just doesn't learn. Rocket, Rocket. Will you knock it off? Get over in your bed. Bedtime, Rocket. Bedtime. Don't you give me that look. <laughs> you want to stay in here with Mama? All right, I'm going to do some pumps. Never used it yet. Okay, let me see. Not sure. Ooh. Well, what do you think? It's kind of thick. So here we go. Okay, this is like butter. All right. On the cheeks. Okay, ooh, let me look it up close. Ah. It is illuminating, rocket. Don't make me put you in the timeout corner. <laughs> I love trying new makeup, you guys. My husband says, what are you gonna do with all that makeup? Surely you're not gonna wear it all the time. And I said, Shh, don't call me Shirley, and yes, I will. Or I gift it to my granddaughters. They appreciate it. They save a lot of money from grandma. <laughs> Make sure, you know, you always gotta press, press it in to our mature skin. All right, so that is the Makeup by Flower. We're gonna do a wear test on all these, especially the foundation. Okay, another hodgepodge I have is my favorite Anastasia in their pomade in Ash Brown. And I take my little teeny, teeny, teeny brush, and I'm going to dip like so. And we're going to go forth and conquer. So I just really like the ease of this. And there's a new trend, too, with they're saying they're getting away from the bushy eyebrows which I have gotten away from since I was in the 70s. Uh, I guess, the, I don't know that they're going back to pencil thin, but I like mine just like this. They're not too bushy. After the brows, then I'm gonna do eyes. And what I have for today, I have LA Colors. This is by Angel Angelic. Look at this palette, you guys, look. I'm wearing red, so I thought blues would be lovely. Isn't that pretty? I like how they texture. See these, how they're textured. It's so groovy. All right, so what I'm gonna start with is pretty one right here for my lid. All right, this one always has a little blue on it. So I'm gonna dip, dip, dip. Never tried this palette. Ooh, now that's a pretty blue. Just a light, subtle blue. Pretty. I kind of stick to this just the same kind of eye shadow placement. Mm. Yep. Light feathered hand. Remember we do clean up after. Now I'm gonna take for my crease, try this one for a crease, my Jessup brushes, and I'm gonna go in with the Kind of a slate blue here for the crease. And again, my windshield wiper. It's not that much darker. You can make it darker. I go in there in the crease and then I close, then I look straight ahead. For those that have seen me, all right. It's a windshield. Oh no, starting to do Christmas. Probably because I have red on. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, gosh, Valentine's Day is coming. I guess we can say this is like a Valentine's Day look. We'll do some subtle. Okay. And then I want to take that same blue before I start smoothing and take a little corner. This is actually a little sponge with that same blue. And just kind of go down. Give a little bit more darkness. All right. Woo. Okay. Okay. Ooh, blend, fluff, blend, fluff. Then I think on my lid for the silvery for the glitter glow will be this little one in the corner. And I'll do my thinner. Right here. Oh, look at that. Stardust. Mm-hmm. Hope it'll tie together the whole look. And you know, I like to go in the corner. Here we go. And use the highlight in there for my brows. I'll take a little slanted brush and dip in this right here. And then go up over that, yeah. Kind of light at the end of the tunnel. That looks good. I like that. And, and go in here. Just hard to do that. Okay. And I will, like I said, clean up out here when I apply my concealer after I get my color done. Now, I'm going to use the turquoise waterline. I just love this stuff. It's so pretty. All right. Here we go. Ooh, just draw. Oh, I'm so excited that I got that little assist I had on here, Lanced, because it's so much easier to put on my eyes. I go a little bit above over here. It'll go. It goes really pretty with that eyeshadow. Now, what are we going to use for mascara? Well, I'm going to use Tarte's Tubing Mascara. Of course, I'll list everything below. Take a while, but I will. Okay. Ready? I'll take my fluff, fluff McGrush again. My fluff, fluff brush, because I got a little fallout up top. Now we're going to work on the bottom. Well, I also, I love my e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. clear on the bottom. It just kind of uh, spreads my lashes out so they're not clumpy. Kind of just spreads them out, makes them look parody that way. Color 115. And so this, I'm going to take my little tiny concealer, flat concealer. See? Yeah. Try to clean up that line right there. Just trying to go underneath the shadows. It's just, I'm just, without caking it on, I'm just concave, you know. I have concave eyes. It's just what it is. Makeup is fun. It's, it also can be very frustrating when you cannot get the coverage without getting, you know, the creases and the gutch there. And then after your under eye, you must put on some powder. I'm using from my Ipsy, this little toy factory setting powder. Just because it's different, huh? That makes it a hodgepodge. Let's get this under here, okay? Let's keep it from creasing. I think it's just a little too cool. Maybe a little warmer. All right, well, let's warm it up, okay? 
I love to use. I still love my NYX Wonder Stick. And just, you know, draw. This is the kind of drawing I can do. Whoops, not down the center dipstick. Without too much problem, just got to remember to blend it out. Got to disc, got to hide that waddle. Take my 109 BK Beauty. So, do you have any Valentine plans? If so, what are they? What do you like to do on Valentine's Day? We basically just stay home, you know. Right now I want to, down my nose, I want a little highlight down my nose. So on the other end of my Wonder Stick, we got some highlight. So I'll take that down my nose. Mm -hmm. And then my little thing, oh, I'll add some more too. I'm just doing that for right now. My nose. Oh, yeah, see, you weren't going to tell me, were you? And I'd like to put a little bit of highlight here. Look at that concave. You know, I, I, I've had that forever. And so I'm like, did I get hit in the head? Looks like I got kicked in the uh, head by a goat. <laughs> a little tiny goat hoof. All right. And then I'm going to put right here a little highlighter there. A little highlighter there. Right there. Then I am going to take my blush, which is, it's somewhere in this hodgepodge essence, baby got blush. I just cannot remember everything. Oh, that is very pretty with the highlighter there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's it. Now, I want to have a little bit of, a little bit of bronzer, just not much, just on the outside, outskirts of heaven. And I physician's formula. <laughs> I broke the clasp. This is in light bronzer. Okay. I have this pretty brush that I got by it. But it's just a oh, it's foundation, bronzer, blush, whatever you want. I'm gonna swirly girly gumdrops. And then I'm gonna go right. And see, I just want a little hint of color there. Just to give me a little bit of a A little bit of a wash. I'll go over my nose too. Just blend. Don't wreck your blush. You just did. Should have did the blush after this. Anyway, what do we have next? We have lips. Okay. So with the lips, I'd lose my head if it wasn't fastened on. My mother always said. So I'm going to use this Revlon Nude uh, Lip Liner. Very pretty. And then I'm gonna, for the lipstick, I'm gonna use, this is L'Oreal's 236 in Organza. All right, so here we go. I like to make sure that I have makeup on my lips. It helps the liner stay on. Okay, here we go. And I usually fill in my lips. This time I'm not. I'm going to do what the trend is. Then I'll take my lipstick and fill in the center. This is the glowy one. Glittery, shimmery. Now I think because this is a luministic, I am going to take a little powder or I'm going to take Elf's Halo Glow. That might not make sense if I don't want glow. <laughs> I can do what I want. So take my big it brush. And then I just go in the T-zones. I don't want to get rid of the Illuminish. I just want to tone down the glare. So 
So tonight, I'm all ready to go out to a, a mini extravaganza. Very excited. It's Saturday night, of course. This is Light Illusion. That's what I use for the makeup in the nude color. I don't think it's too bad. You know, at first when I put them on, they seem I seem really pale. But if I go any darker or like warmer, then, then I take on more of a, a pink cast. <laughs> It's so hard to tell. My brushes were by Jessup and two were by It. And I will list those in the description below. I used NYX Blue Turquoise. I used LA Girl. But, I mean, it was so much fun. I love these products and I will be back later to show you how they wore. I'll try to keep my hands off my face. I am going to be doing some editing and you know how I do that uh, before we go out to dinner. And I'll let you know how it wore. Hey, beautiful ladies of my heart. I did not realize when I was going to release this video would actually be on Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day. Whatever you're planning, this hodgepodge of makeup will look great. It's held up. It's only been about four hours, but the, the makeup itself, that flower, I keep wanting to say Hello Kitty. That is beautiful. Uh, the eyeshadow, I love the eyeshadow on the LA. I love all of it. The lipstick, everything. So dig in and go to your happy place. Have a great day. Much love.